Greetings War Thunderers, this is Longshot with you again, with part 6 of my Beginner's Guide series, looking at tactics to help you survive and prosper in night battles. These don't happen very often, and usually when they do, there's a chorus of chat comments about how cool these battles are, and why don't we get more of them? It's never been my view, as I like to be able to see where everyone is, so I can position my plane and plan out my attacks well in advance. Night battles take away the icons for enemy planes, and thus make the vital task of situational awareness very difficult to achieve. This creates chaos, it's easy to lose a lot of planes, so this guide will show how to aggressively engage the enemy while remaining undetected and safe from attack. To begin with, okay, you can't see the icons for enemy planes, but you can see the planes themselves. When they're in the distance, they'll be visible as dots, and they're most easily seen when silhouetted against the sky. Spotting them against the ground is far more difficult, Therefore planes that climb are actually in much more danger of coming under attack than planes that stay at or below the fighter spawn height. Indeed I myself have climbed almost a thousand metres in this battle, making me easily visible to any fighter that's remained at 2000 metres. They can see me, but I can't see them. And the key to surviving night battles is to stay invisible and avoid attracting attention. You really are better off if you don't climb as I've done here. I was lucky in this battle in that only one enemy fighter targeted me, a P-38 there, who suddenly appeared only 1.6 kilometres away and approaching fast. First thing I did was target select him. Immediately his icon was now visible to all friendly planes within a radius of 8 kilometres, and while I climbed away from him, a fighter vectored onto his icon and shot him down. So not only do you want to avoid being spotted against the sky, you don't want enemies selecting you as a target, as that will broadcast your location to their entire team. Next I want you to notice the ground targets. You can't see plane icons outside of 1.6km unless they've been targeted, but the icons for bases and tanks are visible right across the map, even through cloud, just as they are in day battles. So why is this important? Because where there's ground targets, there'll be planes trying to bomb them. As this is a domination map, there's also plenty of activity around the runways at low altitude. And that's where I want to go, where the action is thickest. There's no point lurking around the, on the fringes of these battles. That'll get you nowhere. OK, so I'm diving toward the A airfield, and what I'm looking for now is Tracer, directed at friendly planes. You can see how clearly visible Tracer is. There's a blue plane there taking fire from something. I'll use the Tracer to guide me in. There he is. Now I'll perform a high speed intercept attack. I missed the target, though not by as much as this re replay makes out. I'm not going to hang around and furball, instead I'm going to keep my speed and extend away again. That way no enemies have targeted me, I'm not going to be pounced on by a bunch of red fighters appearing out of nowhere, and I'm free to position myself for more intercept attacks. This next example demonstrates how dangerous it is to hang around and turn fight trying to get your guns on a target. I have no luck in this first pass, and I make the mistake of assuming that there aren't many enemies around, so I turn for another attempt. This won't be successful either. And now I'm thinking I should get out of here. And as I turn over, suddenly there's three planes taking shots at me that I was completely unaware of. Fortunately, I still had plenty of speed, so I put my nose down to the deck and ran as fast as I could back in the direction of my fighter spawn. In doing so, I outpaced two of my pursuers and led the third one to his doom at the hands of friendly planes. Anyway, enough of showing my mistakes, here's some better examples. I'm approaching below the fighter spawn height, which lets me spot incoming enemies in the sky while staying invisible. My speed's nice and high, so I'll be in and out of the combat zone before they see me. I pick up a target, in this case a plane I dot spotted as he dived toward the airfield. On this occasion I get the kill, and then immediately I'm bugging out. Staying low, extending fast. Then checking my six to make sure I'm clear before I climb, and get ready to set up my next attack. This time I intend to hit and run toward my friendly spawn. Always know your escape route in advance, and then stick to it. I 
I'm, notice I'm trying to pick out targets that aren't already selected rather than going for planes that everyone can already see. This last attack was a bit of a risk. I can see a Corsair off to the side. I'm going to fly under his guns looking for a target without having first climbed to gain speed in my dive. He spots me and I'm under fire while I extend away and I'm forced to dodge. But my hit-and-run tactics has saved me again, as I outpace him and my teammates take him down. There's one last thing I haven't mentioned. If there's searchlights, try to avoid them. Enemy AAA will make a mess of your plane if you're lit up for any length of time. Anyway, as it happened, I got three night battles in a row, and that was the first one. This is the second, which I recorded in full. Before I get into it, I'll summarise what I covered in this video. You can spot planes by looking for their dots against the sky. Also against the ground if you have particularly good eyesight. You can also spot them by looking for their tracer. Conversely, you don't want to fly at altitude over enemy territory and make yourself an easy target. And if your plane has stealth ammo belts, you should consider using them. Look for areas on the map that bombers will target and fly there. Failing that, head for the usual furball locations. You want to engage the enemy, so you need to know where the enemy is most likely to be found. If you see an enemy plane that's a threat, or you can't immediately shoot it down, target select it so everyone knows where it is. Engage with fast intercept passes, try not to turn fight, and extend towards safety. This obviously influences the type of plane that you'll use in night battles. I believe the night favours quicker planes rather than slow turn fighters. So in this particular battle, there was a thick layer of cloud, so I didn't need to worry about being spotted after climbing. Indeed, I'm hanging around just inside the cloud looking for targets of opportunity like that P-51 and this Fogelwolf 190. Okay, so no luck with him. Anyway, I recorded my uh, commentary live while flying the plane, hoping that sharing my thought processes in this way will help you understand the reasonings behind the decisions I took during the battle. Okay, so I spotted this welly here. I want to get away from the mess of uh, fighters that are converging back there. And yes, he's disappeared. I'll just continue for a little bit on the heading he's taking, but I know there's a friendly base, nice and close. And I might, okay, if I'm not finding him, I might just turn toward that base, because chances are he's bobbing it. What else would a welly be doing? If he dies below the cloud, someone will target select him, and I'll see his icon then. Where are you? There he is. Come on, you've got to be here. Okay. And I'm betting, but he's wondering how on earth I managed to track him down at night in a thick cloud. Okay, let's head back to the battle. Seems to be a furball forming, forming in the middle at ground level, as there usually would be on this uh, kind of map. You can see all that tracer sparking off everywhere. Just need to get under this uh, cloud layer so I have a bit of visibility as to what's going on. Quick check to make sure there's no enemy icons right close to me. No dots that I can see against that bit of sky. Right, here's a target right in front of me. Seems oblivious. Hopefully I can pick him up with a nice deflection shot. There we go. And there's the furball. I'm straight over the top of it. Just trying to... Okay, here's a Stuka. No one's in him. I want to leave uh, diving into the furball as a last resort if there's no bombers that I can pick up. Where did that guy go? Okay, I've lost him, so I'll take a, uh, a run at the uh, furball here. 
Oh, there's the Stuka there, he's doing the same thing. Right, let's see if I can pick up either the Stuka or the 109. Seems the Stuka's the uh, obvious choice. Alright, another bomber. Forget the furball. Got plenty of speed, 600 kilometers an hour. I should be able to run this guy down very quickly. others. Just trying to f see if there's any dots I can see against either the little patch of sky or the ground. It's very hard obviously to see them against the ground. thought I saw one there against the river but it might have just been a parachute. Yeah, it probably was. Still flying towards a base like this, sometimes you can pick up a target that otherwise would remain undetected. And there's a Stuka hanging around above. Okay, should be able to come up underneath. Just carefully aim, and down he goes. Okay, if that's it for bombers, I'll head back toward the furball. So far, six kills, and uh, no one has spotted me. Someone's taking a shot of that Blenheim, but it's ten kilometers away. There's not much point in me he heading over there. Time to boom and zoom. Right, there's a 109 coming in, he's too close for comfort, and a P-51. I'm going to pull out of this and then see if I can drop down on the P-51's tail. Don't want to dive right in front of them and suddenly find that they're all targeting me. Okay. No one's picked me up. the incomings. And with any luck I can take out the P-51. Just adjust my wings to his flight angle. Come on, connect. Ah, that's the trouble with high caliber cannon. The game's over. Well, that was tense, as all night battles are, but despite the dark, I was able to track several bombers, save my bases and avoid detection right throughout the battle. I hope you've enjoyed the video and that it's been helpful. Until my next one, good hunting, and I'll see you in the night skies.